The French woman was picking up trash on the side of the road when a package of chocolates suddenly fell from the sky. She not only did not call the police, but also directly found the trafficking nest and returned the chocolate. That dealer is also baffled. Who knows that the end also wants to join the gang, together with the bigger and stronger to create brilliant. The first thing you need to do is to get a good idea of what you are getting into. That is all forced by life. Ten years ago, just after the 60th birthday of her husband died on time, the family restaurant also closed down. She lost her financial resources and was living on a monthly benefit of 600 euros. When she couldn't pay her debts, she was forced by the court to take out a mortgage on all the family's belongings. Adding to the already difficult situation of the family, she would go to the food court every morning to try the food for free. And after she finished eating, she would comment on the food with venom. She would even pick up various usable items in the garbage, sometimes fighting with others over a handful of onions. With her material life in such dire straits, Andy's spiritual world was just as bad. Her daughter married a black policeman and gave her a black grandson. Because of this, her relationship with her daughter was once in a cold war. Ultimately, Big Mother's summary for life was that she lacked money and that all the misery in her life was due to the lack of money. So the old lady, who was nearly 70 years old, set a goal that she shouldn't have at her age, and that was to get money. This night, she overheard a group of the yo-yo downstairs, relying on the sale of chocolate, can't earn 30 million a year, and even drive a small sports car. Jealousy made the Emma's face completely different, so she directly find the local nest of sub-distributors, said she also want to enter the business. This has confused the dealers. They told her that this is not a square dance registration, and that she should stay where she is, and then blew her out. But she did not give up the idea of making money. This day the opportunity finally came. She was collecting garbage on the roadside as usual. A couple of gangsters were chased by the police, and in a hurry, they threw a packet of chocolates, which happened to fall into the hands of Big Mother. However, the woman did not give the chocolate to the police, but directly to the dealers returned, taking the opportunity to negotiate with them. Wanting to join the gang, the dealers saw the woman so insistent, immediately cut a piece of her back to try the profits of 9 to 1 share, although the draw is a little too much, but the big lady still immediately agreed to. After all, she had just joined the business and had no room to bargain yet. When she returned home, she cut each portion into 5 grams, as the dealer said to facilitate the sale. But the product is hard, cut and chop salsa are not helpful, and finally pulled out the Chinese kitchen knife to succeed. After the distribution is completed, a new problem arises. Auntie does not know the market situation. Blindly entering the market is bound to disrupt the market. So she approached her son-in-law, who was a policeman, to find out what was going on. Her son-in-law, thought her mother-in-law, was bored and didn't think much of it, and patiently explained to her the prices of various chocolates. After she came out of the police station, she was all smiles. She did not expect that this small chocolate is so valuable. After understanding the market situation, the next step is to find a buyer from a young man. She learned that underpass of the train station. So, she took the goods around the passage to sell. But for her strange face, buyers can be very cautious. They suspect that this woman is an undercover police. She had a hard time meeting a naive guitarist who wanted to get his hands on it. But two enthusiastic youths spoiled it and thought he was bullying her on the spot to give him a lesson. I did not expect the guitar man was quite persistent. He was beaten up and came back to buy the goods. In this way, Big Mother's first business is completed. With the advantage of good goods and low price, Big Mother successfully opened up the local market. Within a few days, a whole block of chocolate was sold out when a large amount of money in front of the dealers directly stunned them, did not expect the AMA a little ability, immediately supply her with the kilograms. This woman is a genius, nearly 70 years old still doing sales. A few days of work to become the local chocolate sales champion. The dealers of the chocolate nest were shocked and immediately gave her an increased supply. Tasted the sweetness of the AMA every day with a vegetable basket scurrying between the market. Promote their own chocolate because of the good goods and low price. And he ushered in many repeat customers. Soon earned a lot of money. But after all, it was an illegal activity. And his heart is also very tormented. To alleviate her sins, she went to the church to confess to the priest. When the priest found out that she was selling chocolate, he looked incredulous. He advised her to turn back. It's not too late to turn back. The prodigal son returned. She then threw a roll of money at him. The priest resisted repeatedly, but finally accepted it. In order to avoid sin, the priest chanted hallelujah. He made a sign of the cross on his chest. The sudden rise of the great mother must have touched someone else's cake. Big mother's pockets are lined with money. The pockets of the other vendors were flattened. The business was all taken away by big mother, and the gangsters were so jealous, so they took their revenge. This day, while big mother was selling her goods, they blocked her in the middle of the road. A group of young people did not speak of martial arts to rob to bully a 70-year-old woman, my opinion is to advise these young people to take care of themselves. She was robbed of most of her money. 
How could she give her dealer the blame just when she was at a loss? A savior came, the daughter had asked her to take her grandson because she was working late on the weekend. But the naughty grandson slipped into the kitchen when she wasn't looking and she mixed a small piece of chocolate into the cake to make a chocolate cake. But this cake is particularly easy to get high after eating. The sisters came to play with her and after eating the chocolate cake, they all began to talk crazy and she realized that her grandson had done it. This also made her realize the importance of further processing of her products. The profits from selling raw materials alone are still too thin. Adding them to the cake is not only hidden but also profitable. And they immediately decided to change the business strategy. The next day, Annie carried freshly baked chocolate cake to the street to sell. Yesterday, the group of people saw that it was a cake, so they didn't stop relying on her previous reputation in the market. Big Mama's goods were still selling well. They were sold out in no time. When she came to the distributor again with the money for the goods, a group of people were shocked. They all thought Big Mother was a sales genius. This time, the distributor directly supplied him with 8 kilograms. Big Mother also relied on her status as a sales champion. She asked to increase her share from 9, 1 to 7, 3. The distributor agreed without even thinking about it. In order to protect Big Mother's sales channel, the dealer also arrested. She was bullied a few days ago without saying a word. They were going to kill them only after Big Mother's plea for mercy did she get her life back. Without Sai Yao's interference, Andy's performance skyrocketed. The business model changed from retailing to ordering. The number of customers coming to her was endless. The threshold is almost broken by them. Andy couldn't keep up with it alone. She realized that she had to expand the scale of production. So she brought her sisters into the business. We all make money together. With the help of her sisters, she was able to increase her cake production by several times. Once the production scale was expanded, sales channels had to be upgraded. So, Big Mother found the people who had bullied her. Let them become sub-distributors. Big Mother mastered the core technology to supply them. The profits were split 90%. After they tasted the chocolate cake, they all said that they worshipped Big Mother as a big sister. In this way, Big Mother's chocolate industry was basically formed. It didn't take long. Big Mother had cornered the local market. This also succeeded in attracting the attention of the national distributor. This 70-year-old woman is a sales genius, became the top seller of chocolate nests in 7 days, 30 days to monopolize the local market. With this industry, the woman made a lot of money. Not only did she pay off her debts, she also lived a prosperous life. Her outstanding performance, the national distributor was impressed, immediately kicked out the local sub-distributors. The whole market was given to Big Mother to take full charge of. The main distributor thought highly of her and instructed her on her next strategy asking her to sell chocolate cakes to kindergartens and elementary school. Start with the children, cultivate customers from a young age. Then the market capacity will be doubled directly. But Big Mother has a bottom line. She didn't want to harm the flowers of her country, but she didn't dare to refuse to her face. So she said she would see what she could do. The next day, she went to pick up her grandson from school and remembered the words of the general dealer yesterday and made up her mind to wash her hands of the business and go home with her baby. The grandson wanted to go to the beach to play. She just bought a convertible, called a few old sisters together. The result was a heavy rainstorm halfway through. A few people had to squander how to come, stay in a five-star sea view room, going out to various entertainment venues. A 70-year-old woman dressed up in a fancy way, live as a 20-year-old girl look. Several old bones can't be considered to have fun. When the old lady came home, after having fun, found the house in a mess. Looks like a war. It turned out to be the main dealer's men. They kidnapped grandma's grandson, threatened her to continue to sell goods to them, or else she would suffer the consequences. Just at that moment, her policeman's son-in-law and colleagues came to visit her. The traffickers jumped out of the window and fled, seeing no movement inside the house for a while. The son-in-law broke the door and entered. See the scene inside the house. Directly frowzy, Andy hurriedly explained. It was the wind blowing last night. Oh my god, I thought it must be a typhoon, she said. She kicked her son-in-law out. That tough and knew very well. You have to solve your own problems. That night, she greeted a few old sisters, armed with guns, and broke into the trafficking den. The few dealers can look found it. They have never seen such a big battle. The gun all against the brain. Khan only obediently put the grandma's grandson let go. The grandson had just left. The mother's girlfriend could not resist pulling the trigger. Now they were all exposed. And when they found out they had been tricked, the traffickers became furious and tied up several old ladies. The next second, the police broke the window and entered the whole nest hall end. It turns out that the mother's son-in-law, long aware of the mother-in-law's unusual behavior, so laid a net, and the mother outside and inside. The traffickers will be wiped out. In the end, the mother was sentenced to six years in prison for selling chocolate, but was given a suspended sentence due to her guilt and age. After being released from prison, the mother's reopened a cake store, this time without that chocolate.